The Makola Salt Glacier is a remarkable geological formation located in the village of Makola within the Kuilu Department of the Republic of the Congo. Situated approximately 80 kilometers from the coastal city of Point Noir, this natural wonder is renowned for its striking salt formations and historical significance. Contrary to its name, the Makola Salt Glacier is not composed of ice, but is a vast deposit of salt that resembles a glacier in appearance. This unique formation resulted from the evaporation of an ancient river, leaving behind extensive salt deposits. The area was once actively mined for potash and is a remnant of the potash exploitation by the Compagnie de Patasses du Congo, which was abruptly halted in 1977 due to flooding caused by groundwater. CPC was a Franco-Congolese mining company created to exploit potash deposits in Hull. Potash, a potassium-rich salt, is essential for fertilizers and was seen as a strategic resource during the 20th century. The project was ambitious and symbolic of post-colonial development dreams. At its peak, CPC employed hundreds of workers and had substantial foreign investment. To ship the ore, a wharf over 1,700 meters long was built on the Wild Coast in 1967. The mine was only productive from 1969 to 1977. Its operation ceased after a massive water inflow flooded the entire mine within a few days. Visitors to the Makola Salt Glacier are greeted by a surreal landscape characterized by the crimson and yellow hills, salt formations have created hills with hues ranging from deep reds to bright yellows, offering a stark contrast to the surrounding greenery. The salt-covered terrain as the ground is blanketed with salt crystals, giving the appearance of a snow-covered landscape in the midst of a tropical environment. And panoramic views, climbing to the top of the salt hills provides expansive views of the surrounding forests and the unique geological features of the area. Today, the glacier is mined informally by local families in an artisanal and subsistence-based fashion. Visitors to the region sometimes include the site in eco-tours, and it's recognized for its geological curiosity. The CPC mine was exploiting carnalite, a mineral rich in potassium, found in evaporite sediment layers hundreds of meters below the surface. The region is geologically unstable, with a high water table, porous sedimentary rocks, and salt layers particularly sensitive to water intrusion. The mining method was conventional underground extraction, using room and pillar techniques. The shaft descended into salt formations highly soluble minerals which require strict hydrogeological isolation. Potash was extracted mechanically and transported to the surface via an elevator system, then processed and prepared for export. What caused the flood? While excavating in the carnalite seam, miners struck a previously undetected fault or fissure that connected the shaft to a pressurized aquifer above the mine. A powerful, muddy surge of groundwater entered the mine through the breach. A loud explosive sound, described by miners as like a volcanic eruption, preceded the water. Within hours, multiple galleries of the mine were inundated. The flow rate overwhelmed the existing dewatering pumps, and water spread unchecked throughout the tunnels. Over a period of three days, the entire network of underground shafts was completely submerged. This caused an immediate collapse of operations, as critical infrastructure such as elevators, electrical systems, ventilation was destroyed. Salt formations, once in contact with water, dissolve rapidly and become structurally unstable. The flood transformed large sections of the mine into underground cavities and sinkholes, making rehabilitation dangerous and prohibitively expensive. 
Attempts at sealing or draining the mine were considered unfeasible due to the volume of water involved, the unstable surrounding rock, and the cost and risk of reconstruction. No fatalities were reported, a rare outcome in such mining disasters, 